Good morning. Welcome to Village in Motion. Today is Wednesday, June 20th, 2018. Another beautiful sunny day in June. And this morning we're welcoming senior therapist Natalie Johnson. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning. Natalie, you have brought stuff with you. I have. Important looking machines. I have. I Tell brought us props with me today. <laughs> Tell us what we're going to talk about today. So today we're going to talk about um, ways that we address pain in the outpatient um, and inpatient as well in rehab. And you mentioned a big word to me, a word, and I have it written down here, outpatient modalities for pain. Modalities. What is modalities? So modalities is a term that we use um, to describe anything that we do to assist with pain in an external nature. So there's various items, a couple that I brought here um, that we use, um, a couple things I didn't bring like a hot pack or a cold pack would also be in that umbrella term as a, of a modality. So, so if we're talking to a, a medical person and, and someone drops that term, modality means it's something that's happening to the outside of our body versus something right. that's going to be an inoculation or a pill or a medication right. of some kind. Exactly. Thank exactly. you. <laughs> okay. Tell us about this equipment. So I brought a couple different things with me. Um, this right here is called a short wave diathermy. Um, this is a way of applying heat to um, really any part of your body. This part right here is called the drum. So um, this can move, this arm can move a lot of different ways to position it. And what we'd wanna do is position that drum over your area of pain. Your body part would be not quite touching, but almost touching the drum. Would touch this part of it. Mm -hmm. So what we would do, we'd get you in a comfortable position and then position the drum over the area that we're looking to cover and then we would start the treatment. The treatment could be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the protocol, and your job is to just lay there and receive the treatment. Um, most uh, patients report a mild warmth, um, but you're not gonna feel, it's not like a hot pack, you're not gonna feel that, that instant warm. And what's happening is under the surface, the tissues are warming. And after that, um, it especially helps if we wanna do stretching because the tissues are now um, warm and uh, they have more um, flexibility in them for us to stretch. Um, it also does uh, have a pain relief um, component to it. So what usually happens is after a treatment, a resident will tell us later that day they didn't have any pain or they woke up the next morning without pain. So what might be not working well in my body that you would use this? So um, I have used it on um, people's feet they're having um, arthritis or plantar fasciitis. Um, I've used it and had great results um, with that. Um, shoulder, we use it on the shoulder Shoulder a lot. pain where my shoulder wasn't moving as well. Right, right. Um, we've used it that. Um, low back, used it in knees. Knees is another one that we use. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So my, my body doesn't go right against it. It's, it's a distance away from it. Right, oh, and, and it, we, you want it close, but not touching, mm -hmm. and you'll usually have a, like a towel draped between you and the um, machine. Um, this machine heats up any metal, so um, if you had, say, a knee replacement, we would not do it over a knee okay. because the heat would collect in that metal. Also, when you're receiving the treatment, we'll ask you to remove all metal. So if you have earrings or a necklace or people have their name tag with you know a metal, we'll remove all of mm -hmm. that. Um, because what could happen is the heat could uh, collect in that metal. Okay. So there are a couple things that we do for setup, and there's also a couple things that we do, um, we need to look at, there's contraindications and people that would not be the right candidate. So that would be something we would discuss. So with you would you. ask lots of questions before mm -hmm. you use it, and it's not super hot, but it mm -hmm. warms the muscles just to kind of relax them mm -hmm. so you can stretch them a little more and make them feel better. Right, increases blood flow, so that can help with healing. It's also used, we don't necessarily um, use it in outpatient, but people do use it for wounds because it can help uh, blood flow and healing. So it, it does a lot of things. Interesting, yeah. and you use this both in our outpatient rehab here at Hunter's Crossing and in Garden Ridge. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Yeah. And tell us about the other piece of equipment. Okay, so this one that I brought has um, two different modalities on okay. it. It has electrical stimulation and it also has ultrasound. So ultrasound, we use this right here um, and we've used the gel. So 
a lot of people have had this before if you're having a um, maybe a test to see like on your abdomen mm -hmm. so people recognize it from that but this is um, a little bit different so we put the gel on the head of this and then what this does is it smooths over so this would be for a very concentrated area of pain so we wouldn't necessarily do it on back pain if your whole back was hurting because it really only um, heats up tissues that's about double the size of the head of this. So it would be for a localized So pain. ultrasound is used not only for, I guess we're used to knowing ultrasound for visualization. Right, right. But ultrasound is also used to generate warmth. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So shoulders is a big place that we use this. So and again, for shoulder, mm -hmm. where are where all these things when I was having shoulder pain? <laughs> when you were in shoulder pain. So for, yep. for shoulder mm -hmm. warmth to is, add warmth. Right. And again, generating warmth and then followed by exercise. Exactly, exactly. Sometimes on a very localized area on the hip, or if someone has a very localized area on their back, that, you know, they can really pinpoint it and it's a small, we can use the ultrasound. But I would say shoulders would be probably the most common that we use the ultrasound. Again, it's just a way of um, heating. This right here just heats the gel, so the mm -hmm. gel's not cold when you get it. Um, it's just a way of heating that tissue and then, like you said, we follow up, um, especially if we're doing a, a kind of stretching or for pain relief. So same thing, some people have, uh, with all of these things, some people have really good results, some people don't notice. So if they don't, then we try something else. There's one thing that, that I have learned about physical therapy and physical rehabilitation, that it's not about what the physical therapist does to you, it's more about what you do yourself. And there's, there's always an element of, you have to do a lot of work yourself in order to make this happen. Yes, exactly, exactly. We tell um, residents all that all, all the time. Um, our goal as a physical therapist is to teach you how to best um, prevent and help with whatever area you need. So whether it's strengthening our balance or what we're talking about today, pain, mm -hmm. um, we do have these, these things to help. But the goal of, of all of our modalities is to get your pain to a level in which you can tolerate the exercises because the exercises so are what's can gonna with it. give you long-term pain relief. Right. So if you have back pain, we wanna get your pain under control so that you can do the exercises with us and also at home, therefore strengthen your core, strengthen your back, protect your spine and prevent you from having pain in the future. And keep working with it. Yes. Not just when we're with you. Which is the hardest part for all of us. Of course it is. <laughs> Exercise and Tell is us hard. about the third machine. So the third machine. The one we're with gonna, all the lights and I bells know, and whistles. I know, right? It kind of looks like a like a plain cockpit right here. So we're gonna do a little um, a little play with this one, a little okay. demonstration. So the biggest contraindication with um, e stem is a pacemaker. So if you have a pacemaker, we wouldn't use I do use not have this. a pacemaker. Okay. So that would be the biggest thing that and this, we this This one I, I, will, I will say I have done before I did it with some shoulder pain that I had some shoulder muscle pain. Okay. Um, so what we would do, these are the pads that we use. There are different size pads. So we're going to demonstrate on your arm because it's the most accessible, but these pads are probably a little bit large for your arm. These would be what we would use on a back, but we can demonstrate. So what you do is you put the pads over the area of pain. So wherever someone tells us they have pain, and especially with our back patient, um, back pain patients, the pain may move. So one day it may be here, but the next day they're, oh, it's a little here. So the pads go where you have pain. So that's the answer to that. Where do you put them? where the resident where tells the me the pain is that day. Mm -hmm. So we put the pads over the area of pain. They're sticky, mm -hmm. right? So they've got a sticky. And but it doesn't leave a residue when you take it Doesn't leave a off. residue, not at all. So we put that there and there's different ways um, um, and uh, that w where we put them and how we put them. And then there's different um, settings on this machine that has um, set protocols for us. But the most common one we use is called pre-modulated. So we'll start with that one. And then what we do is we start it and then I'm gonna turn it up and we ask the resident when you start to feel it. Okay. So you're gonna tell me when you start to feel and then you can just- And then I feel it. And okay. it's just a little zzzz. I was gonna ask you to describe yeah. it. So yeah, it's kind of like a yeah. buzzing yes. or like a, and then what we do is we turn it up until it's comfortable. And but, there it's comfortable. Okay, but strong. And what it does is what? So the point of this machine, it's going to send electrical impulses in, into your muscles that we put it on. 
and it's based off the pain gate theory. So, you know, if you hit your, which I have a bandaid on my thumb today, <laughs> if you hit your thumb um, or cut it like I did last night, um, you instantly grab it usually, right? Or you grab the area that hurts. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to interrupt that um, message of the pain going to your brain. So this does the same thing. The goal of it is to get in the way of those pain messages that are being sent to your brain. So it's sending you a different sensation. So I kind of tell people it's like taking a Tylenol, mm -hmm. but on the outside, because uh. you can get several hours of pain relief from this treatment. And then the longer we use it, the more exercises we can do, you can get long-term benefits. Yes, and, and when I use these on my shoulders, then I did follow it up with exercise. Exactly. So yes. it's not going to fix your pain. It's not going to change no, anything doesn't. mechanically. Right. Um, but it can give pain relief, yes. definitely. Right. And it can last for several days. So if someone's coming to see us two or three times a week, they're getting this treatment every time, we get that pain under control, we get the exercises incorporated in, you're doing it at home, and then you get long-term right. results. Yeah. So let's talk about how a patient would would come to you. Do you want me to take this sure. off? Sure, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. No, it's not that they're bothering me. My arm's getting tired of holding them up. Um, uh, yeah, so a patient would come to you. How do, how do people end up coming to you to use these? We have two minutes left. Okay, so just very quickly, you need a referral from and a no, doctor. And no, this is not as bad as pulling off a, a Band-Aid. A Band-Aid, right? <laughs> you need a referral from a doctor to come see us. That's usually very easy to do. Most doctors believe very strongly in therapy. If you go and you have back pain, shoulder pain, whatever your complaint is, they give you a prescription for physical therapy or occupational therapy. You come, you call us in the outpatient center or you come to see us. We have a lot of people that walk right in and hand us their prescription. Um, if you've been seen recently by a doctor, we can also generate a refer referral for you. If so if doctor. someone's watching this program mm -hmm. today and says, I, I think I'd like to try that, mm -hmm. they could do what? I would come talk to us. We're located in Hunter's Crossing across from the Confident Center. Let us know. Come and talk to us and we can guide you on the steps you need to take to come see us and get you started in therapy. That sounds good. Yeah. Natalie, thanks so much for coming Absolutely. to see us today. Always a pleasure. Introducing us to these machines. <laughs> Absolutely. I think there are a lot of people who could be helped with these. Agreed. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Great. Thank you.